those of us committed to the struggle never retire from the struggle. Right. We're going to fight to our dying days. First of all, say this. Many of you young people out there have heard about Dr. King's I Had a Dream. The system wants us to think that Dr. King was a dreamer. They don't assassinate dreamers, brothers and sisters. I was a part of the Civil Rights Movement. I was a part of the Black Panther Party. And while many of us, while many of us could not subscribe to the nonviolence philosophy, as time has gone on, we have learned that Dr. King's legacy is about radicalism and a revolutionary transformation of American society. You were too young to remember, but when Dr. King made the evolution from being a civil rights leader to being a critique, critic of the military industrial complex, that is when he became persona non grata. Even other members of the civil rights movement distanced themselves from him. What you need to know about Dr. King is that he was radical to the core. Dr. King called for the redistribution of power and wealth in society. Dr. King said that the foundations of capitalism did not reside with the Protestant work ethic, it was founded on the subjugation of black people in the institution of slavery. What we need to also understand is that Dr. King made a visit to my union hall six months before his assassination. Young people say, well, why did Dr. King do that? He was a radical who sought out radical trade unionists. He also talked about how the sit-in idea came from the sit-down strikes in 1936 in Flint, Michigan with the United Auto Workers. And I submit to you now, we're going to have to sit in, sit down, and shut down in order to get economic, political, and social justice. I want to remind all of the young people that are here today, don't be afraid of Donald Trump. We have survived enslavement. We have survived Jim Crow. We have survived the inability of the right to vote. Remember, black people didn't get the right to vote by voting. We got the right to vote by organizing and mobilizing in our own name. I got a two-hour speech in just one second to wrap it up. I want you to join me by saying, an injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. Let's say it. An injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. An injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. One more time. An injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. All power to the people. Let's have a great day. Okay, we're about to be blessed.